I'm Elise High. Welcome to Terrier Vision. Here with men's head basketball coach Mike Young. Coach, congratulations on the win tonight over Western Carolina. Back-to-back -back SoCon wins. What are your thoughts on tonight's game? I'm, I'm, I'm pleased uh, that uh, that we won. Um, displeased with you know where we were as a program in the first 20 minutes. We were looking for something other than a you know a dog fight, which is always going to be when you're dealing with Western Carolina. They're going to be prepared. They've got really good players and they are, I mean, they're tough people. I admire them. I admire them. We were looking for something easy and there's nothing easy in this league at this level. Um, much better in the second half, much le better level uh, uh, defensively. Uh, in the East Tennessee game, this is a significant uh, statistic, at least. East Tennessee game and in here tonight against Western Carolina, we gave up five total made threes. That's a big deal for, uh, for our defense. Uh, still a couple other things that we need to shore up and will as we move along, but um, I am uh, encouraged with the progress we're making. And as you mentioned, the first half was a fight. You go into the locker room, down to a good friend of yours, Larry Hunter. What was the message that got you guys to come out in the second half fighting? Elise, uh, uh, as a young lady, I am not going to share with you exactly what I said to my team. It was not pleasant. Uh, it was... Um, it was uh, a rough uh, intermission for uh, for our team, but they're 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 the best. They get it, they understand, and that's not acceptable. Uh, that is not going to be good enough um, for uh, for our team. And and uh, you know I've got some responsibility there. But I told Justin Gordon and Zach Korkowski and C.J. Newman and, and Spencer Collins, we can't have bad days. It, it, it doesn't happen in, in our program. Um, and it's on us to make sure that we have our team ready to roll, ready to rip when the thing goes in the air. And uh, we, we weren't there in the first 20 minutes, but I do tip my hat. And them finding it within themselves to uh, play a much better second half, hold them to 26 points, um, much better. Really proud of them. Justin, great game tonight, 16.7 rebounds. What are your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, we picked it up a little bit in the second half defensively, and um, that was our biggest, biggest thing in the first half. We weren't showing enough energy and emotion, and we definitely picked that up in the second half. Talking about emotion, you definitely showed a lot of emotion tonight. Do you feel like you're emerging on this team as a leader? Uh, yeah, um, I feel like all of our seniors are, and of course of, um, some of the guys that have been here a little bit longer. We, we're coming to our own and finding ourselves as a team, and of course we just got to get into that groove and keep it going. Coming back home and getting back-to-back -back conference wins, how does that make you feel now heading out on the road these next couple of days? Um, of course it gives us a little boost. Um, Going to have to work hard on the next few weeks. We've got three games in a couple of days, and we've just got to stay rested. Got our day off tomorrow, and um, we're going to get back at it on Monday. And tonight, Western Carolina was missing one of their typical impact players, yeah. Rhett Harrelson. Yep. How do you feel that affected tonight's game? Well, I mean, it, it, it impacted it, all right? And that's the sign of a great program. Somebody's going to step to the plate, and the Peterson kid played well for them. Uh, Rhett Harrelson is a good basketball player and has been in this league for a long time. Um, you know, none of us are immune to that. Uh, it's hard, and I felt for Coach, uh, Coach Hunter, uh, but, um, you know, they gave us everything we wanted. I mean, you saw it uh, as, you know, we all saw it. I uh, for, feel fortunate to, uh, to get, at, get out of here. Now, Coach, you're now fifth on the wins list, surpassing Eddie Cameron of Duke and Bobby Crimmins, who you know personally. What would you say to Bobby if he were here tonight? Oh, I don't know. I, I, uh, I'd like to have a beer with him, I can tell you that. He's one of the all-time great coaches and one of the all-time great men. And, um, um, you know, I'm I, um, uh, pleased to know him, pleased to call him a friend. Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks, Elise.